Okay, here we are back again with more Jade Empire. And um, as I said at the end of the last episode, I went ahead and, and cleared out those quests again because for some reason I lost my progress on them or something. I must have overwritten a save wrong or... I'm sure it was user error on my part somehow, but I don't know exactly how. But uh, anyway, so I got back to the point I'm at, or should be at anyway... And uh, uh, now he gave me one, uh, uh, the Grave Digger, Sh Grave Digger Shen gave me one last quest after I completed those three, the Tanner's Fong. Uh, Shen has told you that the corpse of the elder Tanner Fong has risen from its grave and wandered off, returning to his home. His son, who inherited the home, is none too pleased. He wants a refund or the corpse gone, and Shen doesn't like refunds. <laughs> So I apparently need to go back into the city itself and find the ghost of this guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so let's see if we can figure this out. Right, that's the wrong button. I always hit M to bring up the map and it doesn't work the way it, I want it to. Um, yeah, that's okay. I just need to... I assume he's probably back in the market district. I have to return to Captain Sen. I don't... Let's return, because I, I need to turn in that other bounty too. I never did. So I'm going to turn this in with, Cap with Captain Sen. And then, I don't know. Always a pleasure. Uh, I have a bounty I wish to collect. Yes, I heard that Fading Moon's arsons had ended. Excellent work. Burning the poor is troubling after a fashion, but the scholars and merchants? That was her mistake. Uh-huh. The poor deserve your protection, too. Darn yes, right. Yes, yes, of course they do. And they shall have exactly as much protection as they can afford to contribute to the taxes. Oh, jeez. Here's the standard bounty. Accept it with the thanks of the Empire. Well, that brings an end to our pursuit of two fiends. A shame I don't have more work for someone with your skills. It is a shame. Um, do you have any information on that criminal hunted by the assassins? Yeah, sure, why not? I know little more than what the Honorable Lotus Assassin presented. Some treasonous southerner has been undermining the Ministry of Harmony and causing countless deaths. Huh. Is there a bounty on this scourge of the South? <laughs> Not as such. The Lotus Assassins want to deal with this traitor personally. I don't envy anyone who has attracted that kind of attention. Um, it sounds to me as if the Assassins are worried. The Lotus Assassins are never worried. Their control, their protection, I should say, of the Empire is absolute. Yeah, what I think you had it right the first time. Uh, okay, well, I'm not gonna push my luck, so I should go. Of course. Thanks again for your help with those miscreants. I still have no idea where I need to go to find this A dude. great bounty hunter to have oh. dealt with two cases in so little time. Uh, okay. Your work is not done, though. Uh, who are you? There's something very odd about this man. But I can't say what. Yeah, you bet your butt there something There odd. is another in this city with a price on her head. A richer price than those two. Uh, yeah. Her name is Aishi the Mournful Blade. And you can find her at the Black Leopard School. Ah. Uh, how do you know where a criminal can be found? I watched her walk into this city, and now I tell you. 
There's no mystery in this. What is this I she accused of? She is accused of most crimes, and several had to be invented to account for her actions. She is a terror upon the face of the Empire. Murder, theft, and worse, yet never a smile or a hint of revelry in what she did. Uh, that is why she is known as I she the Mournful Blade. Sounds like there's a story behind this. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to know. My role in this matter is of no concern to you. Uh -huh. I am simply an old man who sees a chance for some good to come from bad. Are you sure? All right, well, thanks for the information. You can go. When you reach her, you should ask her for her story. She has a most interesting tale to share. I'm sure she does. I'm not sure why you care, but okay. Sure. I mean, you know, sounds fake, but okay. Um, let's head back this way and see if I can find the uh, Fong residence. Blacksmith shop. Commoner, commoner, boy. Sipa sayer ki unyer. What do you want? Unless you're here to get rid of that stupid old man, I don't have time for you now. Is this it? I mean, are you Tanner Fong? Yes, yes I am. Are you here from Shen? Did he send you about my father? Yeah, Gravedigger Shen told me about him. You hear from Shen? This is his mess. He should have buried him properly. Okay. Look, I'll give you money, yes? Just take that wretched old man out of my house so that I never have to see him again. Okay. Uh, yeah, hi. What do you want? Did my son hire you to kick me out of my own home? You don't look very dead to me. Um... I'm here to put you back in the ground, Spirit. Spirit? I'm not dead, you idiot. If I were, would I be this upset about losing my house? Or breathing, for that matter? Yeah, he really doesn't look dead at all. There's no place to go, and everyone running in fear from the ghost. Where else could I go? I built this house from the ground up, and I'm not about to let him take it from me. Why would your son try to bury you alive? Why do you think? Money, the house, my business that I spent 20 years making? He thinks that with me out of the way, he has the tannery and all my money. But I'll show him yet. Really? How? Everyone says you're... Yeah, this is really not making any sense. Everyone says you're dead. Well, you see, I have friends. I can get things done. Okay. I just have to get them to listen to me. Hey, you could help me convince them. I could give you a good reward. Uh, but your son already took everything. Well, uh, yeah, but once we get it back from him, I'll make sure you get a good reward. Uh, okay, sure. I mean, if you're dead, I, I mean, you know, he's not dead. I'm not going to kill him. Like, oh my god, this is getting complicated. Agreed. Let's go talk to your son. What are you doing with him? You were supposed to get rid of him. I think you two need to talk. What the hell do we need to talk about? He's dead and you're supposed to get rid of him. I'm not dead. You just convinced everyone I was so you could steal the business and my money. He was as good as dead anyway. Look at him. The old fart doesn't have more than a year or two left anyway. So then why don't you wait? deserve to die. Yeah. Look, this doesn't have to end badly. It could work out very well for you, in fact. Just make you disappear, and I'll reward you well. Nobody needs their deceased relatives coming back and making trouble for the living now, do they? 
He's not dead. You tried to kill him. So what if I did? He never cared about us anyway. All he was interested in was his business. A business I should have inherited years ago. Sounds like you're the one who's you're the one who's only interested in the business. You ungrateful wretch. I raised you from when you were a snot-nosed child, and this is the gratitude I get? How could you do this to me? I'm your father, damn it. This is the most ridiculous family feud I've ever seen. <laughs> because you never loved me. It was always you and your business. Oh, crap, I'm sorry. I clicked, and I shouldn't have. I don't know what to say. How could you think that? Since your mother passed away, you were all I had. <laughs> I'm going to have to kill both of you to stop it. Um, I don't know. Uh, Elder Fong, maybe you should have talked to your son. I never... Th oh, I've been so wrong to ignore you. How could I have neglected you like that? This is so ridiculous. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's so heart touch. Oh... I'm crying little tears of... I'm sorry, my son. I should never have neglected you all these years. When your mother passed away, I... I just didn't know what to do. I hid my own feelings away in my anger and despair. I only wish I had had the eyes to see what it did to you. You two should put the past behind you. <laughs> I prefer tragedy. Oh my god. No, okay. You two should really, yeah, put the past behind you so that I can leave. Oh no, you saw ear. I can't <laughs> We've both been so wrong, father. Indeed we have, and if it weren't for this stranger, <laughs> this would all have likely ended in tra Oh my god. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? This is so stupid. Here's the money I promised. I shall not need the task to be carried out any longer. Yeah, I hope not. Thank you for showing us the errors of our ways, stranger. May the heavens shine upon your journeys in the future. I'm so happy. Do I need to... Yeah, I have to go back to Shen now. Okay. Okay. Sure, why not? Well, that was... Helping everybody ad absurdum. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. I'm so glad I did it. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was stupid. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go <sighs> tell Shen that he doesn't have to worry about a refund. The grave digging business sure is a killer. <laughs> what a creep. What do you need? <sighs> the elder Tanner Fong wasn't dead. Of course he was dead. The family wouldn't exactly have given me a live man to bury, now would they? Actually. That would be unprofessional. Can't have stuff like that getting around. Well. You uh, dealt with the problem, though? Elder Tanner Fong's family has taken him back. Well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> as long as I'm not giving any refunds, of course. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Here's what I promised you. Business has been more lively lately with you around. <laughs> A little gravedigger humor there, see? Lively? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I'm good. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're hilarious. I'll just... Leave you to that then. <laughs> Drop by any time. If I ever see a spirit that needs to be put back down again, I'll seek you out. I'm so glad. All right. Uh, and now that we're here in the necropolis with our um, friend Dawnstar, who is especially perceptive to spirits, maybe we should uh, go poke our noses into some of these other tombs. I think that would be flippin' hilarious. Ugh, I did it again. I'm always doing this. Crap. Okay. Tomb of Jizen. Tomb of the Forgotten Scholar. I've been in the Tomb of the Masses. Let's Tomb of Jizen. Oh, 
Let's go in here. Oh. Cannot be opened at this time. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ah, for the love of God. Let's, uh, can we go on this one? Tomb of the Forgotten Scholar. Hey, all right, we can. What's in here? No, no, we can't allow that to happen. It would be too much to bear. Who the heck are you? But this poor wretch isn't much good either. No, not at all. But what else is there? What else is there? Do you have a problem, work, sir? damn you, work! Huh? What do you want? You, you can't have me, corpse. Not yet. Uh, I'm Scholar Ling, and I'm not dead. You, you're not dead. No. I'm sorry, I just, I just panicked. I thought you were some spirit here for revenge. Revenge for what? Ah, well, my work, you see, while very important, very important, may upset some of those spirits not fully at peace. Who are you? My name is Wen Zi, but the few who come here call me mad. Mad Wen, they say, but I am not mad. That's always what they say. I am desperate, it is true, but I know what I am doing. The vengeful spirits of this place will not hold me. What are you doing? Well, what are you doing here? I, I am conducting my research. Into what? I am a doctor by trade, studying the internals of the body and the oh, energies that drive it. I see. But lately, I have come on hard, hard times. My daughter, Wen Si Wei, has fallen ill. Oh. And nothing in my previous training could help me with what ails her. Her liver has been rotted from within, corrupted by some energy I have never encountered before. Her liver? Some energy? I don't know what it is, but it has prevented her liver from functioning. Now her body no longer responds. I fear she is dying. I, I could not stand the possibility of her loss, so I took matters into my own hands. I researched the workings of the body and the spirit, as well as the lore of the creatures that live beyond death. I believe I have found a way to save my daughter, but I have not been successful in my efforts. But you still think it'll work, even though it hasn't worked yet? Uh, what do you have to do? I have found a way to strengthen, no, to replace the corrupt flesh of one living creature with that of another. So, a liver transplant. Through the energies of the earth and by the divine will of heaven, her body can be made to accept the organ as if it were a part of her. So she you can want be to give her a liver a life. So you want to give her a liver transplant. But these cursed, wretched corpses do nothing for me. They are too old, too dead. Their organs are rotted beyond repair. Right, Even you need someone recently buried. Yeah, you need a fresh liver. I need something else. Something more. Either one that is perfectly preserved or one that is fresh. Her time is drawing near. If I cannot get a new organ for her soon, I fear it may be too late. You... want me to find you a liver? I need a liver that has been perfectly preserved. Even a short time after death, the flesh begins to decay. Only a few rare bodies are truly well preserved. I have tried all the organs I could find, but none work. A nobleman here, Ji Xin, had his body preserved well enough and buried in this graveyard, but his corpse has moved. Of course it has. Oh, I'll find... I mean, I know why you can't give her your own liver, because that would kill him. Um, I'll find the preserved nobleman for you, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you. Whatever I can give you in reward, I will. Please hurry. 
The nobleman was buried in one of the larger tower tombs closer to the entrance. I tried to enter, but... Right, I couldn't get in there either. His corpse had risen, covered in the protective wrappings he was buried in. So, a mummy. I, I would not have survived. Please, get the liver from him quickly. Yeah, okay. We can do that. First, I'm going to rob this tomb. Because, you know, that's how I roll. Uh, scroll stand, sure. Well, here's the nature of the spirit, volume two. One encounter brought vividly to mind was deep in a mine along the ridges near the land of howling spirits. I was searching for a spirit I had seen the previous day, a spirit of moss and fungus that dwelt in this abandoned mine. Years earlier, the mines were so prosperous that several communities depended on them for their livelihood, but collapses, fires, and, an unex and unexplained disappearances in the mines led people to become more and more fearful of them. A local monk ventured in one night after hearing a disturbance, and he was never seen again. Thereafter, miners repeatedly reported hearing screams in the deepest tunnels in the voice of that young monk. Interesting. Okay, so... <laughs> I guess in the next episode we'll try to find a liver? Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> uh, as always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Later.